Most people are super scared and anxious right now. Uh, well, I'm actually getting more excited every day because this is such a, a huge chance that we're seeing now. This is a huge opportunity that we, we shouldn't miss, I think. Because you need to know, usually change comes at a certain price, at a certain cost. But this cost, together with the uh, economic crash that we're seeing right now, is just going down to rock bottom. And this is our chance for change because it doesn't cost anything. So I think, I think it's really important to um, focus on, on positive things right now, but not get distracted and especially not get divided into oppositions. So it doesn't matter whether uh, uh, Corona tests are invalid or um, data is, is somehow um, manipulated or whether the response of our government is too late or too early or uh, not just. Um, it, it doesn't matter whether uh, you know, we we have people singing on their balconies and dolphins going back to harbors and skies being more blue. This is all nice and good, but we need to focus on the elephant in the room, and that is the economy. Because as I said before, this is going to give us such a huge chance for change, and we shouldn't miss it. Because think about it, what, what we're having right now is borders are closed, kindergartens are closed, schools are closed, retail businesses are closed, gastronomy and tourism industries, they will suffer. And with them, the economy just goes down to rock bottom. And that in turn means that people won't have any money anymore. So any rescue that has tried to, um, to, to amend this, this crisis has failed so far. Any banks that try to uh, lower credit rates, they, they failed, like the, um, the Federal Reserve just as well as uh, the European Central Banks. Uh, what you could see is that uh, the economy spiked for a second and then, then it went down again. Um, and that is actually an old game. This is what, what happened over and over again. It's a redistribution of wealth. This is what the rich 1% is basically just waiting for, for the economy to crash. Because what they do is they save their assets and once everything is down at rock bottom and everyone wants to sell because they need money, they are buying at the cheapest price. And this is basically privatizing any business. It's, uh, it's, it's redistributing the wealth. And this in turn leads to more dependence, more inequality, more work, less freedom, less rights, and, and less happiness. And that's old game, that old game that I'm talking about is called capitalism. And we now have the chance to decide whether we want to continue or not. So the way this game works, capitalism works is that one person gives money to another person or rather a bank gives money to another person and uh, when they do it when they when they give this credit they also have an interest on that credit that means you have to pay back the money and the interest in order to pay this interest back you also have to pay you also have to to make money somehow so you have to make a profit you have to let your business grow and this is what happens over and over again every time a credit is given uh, this is the economical growth that we're having all the time and this is actually the reason why we are depleting the resources of our planet this is why we have war over resources this is why we have we still have child labor this is why we uh, why we exploit each other and this is why money makes the world go round and as I said before this is what we can continue or we can use this chance where we are at rock bottom and all these values that got indoctrinated on us can be nullified and we can we can start a new system because revolution happens when people realize that doing nothing is more dangerous than doing something so we can ask ourselves what is this something that we can do and in this crisis we already have seen it actually we, we see people coming together we see people uh, uh, showing showing signs of solidarity uh, we, we see that you know there's a lot of effort going into the health system uh, which is all great this is this is um, the, the sign that we are capable we can see that uh, and, and we can appreciate that nature eventually is is uh, breathing again but we shouldn't fool ourselves, this is only temporary, but it's great and we need to continue it. And that's just a, the time 
where we can decide whether or whether or not we want to continue it. And this is why I'm so excited about it. So we can we can choose either we, either we want to uh, continue trusting the government and, and just continue this this capitalistic this destructive way that is based on war and competition, or we can start something new. And my proposal is the gift economy that is based on love and kindness instead. It creates community and it creates gratitude. This is what we can do. So the way the gift economy works is that. I give something to you for free and I don't allow you to show you uh, show me your gratitude instead I want you to pass that gratitude to someone else and the same thing applies to to the next person and to the next person and so on this creates an infinite loop of giving and and, and gratitude and appreciation and, and community so you don't have to trust me I actually urge you to do your own research and find out what the economy is currently doing, what any financial expert or even economy student can tell you about what is going to happen, but what has happened before. This, it's not the first crash, but it's uh, definitely um, very unique in its, in its way because it's very global and we actually have this chance to uh, build something new through information technology. This is why I'm doing this video. Uh, I, as I said, I, I urge you, do your own research and you don't have to do anything yet if you don't trust me, but when you see that the things that we predicted, that they actually arrive and that they happen, then maybe watch this video again and, and uh, see if there is an alternative that we could do. If, you, if you're one of these persons that, all, that, that at some point thought something is wrong with this world, then this is your chance. So here's my pledge. I'm a web designer, I'm a surf instructor, I teach yoga and I teach permaculture. If I can be of service to anyone, then just come to me, contact me, I'm, I'm happy to help. There's absolutely no obligations, I do it for free and I just can. I, I, I do it to inspire you to do the same, to create the change that you want to see in this world.